Hi, it's Stephen here for The Idiot Quilter, and today I've decided I'm going to start putting together my queen size bed quilt. That's for my bed. I've been planning this for a while, but I just haven't got around to doing it. I think I've been putting it off because I'm a little afraid of doing this, but I've got to plunge right in. So I've got to prep some material for this quilt. This has been my largest quilt yet. This is, I'll get the glare off that. This is the pattern, it's called the Labyrinth. And I've already taken the pattern and I blew up the diagram so I could mark here uh, what fabrics I'm going to use where. And I've laid out my fabrics. Now I am short one fabric. I need much more of this color, of this purple, or as close as I can get. And I need quite a bit of this for this quilt. So I still need to get that, but I think I have enough of the other fabrics uh, for this quilt. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to prep the material, the fabric, by pressing it first. I may give it a little bit of uh, spray starch, easy press, as well on this. And then I have to cut it up. This is going to take some time because um, I want to be very, very accurate in everything that I cut for this quilt. And so I'm not going to video every one of my uh, steps in this. I will stop periodically and do an update as to what stage in the quilt making I have gotten to. Uh, then I'll put all these pieces together and that's what you will see. So that's my plan and we'll see how this works out. And I'm, this quilt's gonna take some time to make for sure. Um, so anyways, first drawback right now is I didn't have enough fabric for all the colors, so I've got to solve that problem, but easily enough done. So we'll see what happens after this. Okay, so at this point, I have all my fabric cut as the pattern has asked for, and I have them all labeled so I know which pieces go where. And now I'm putting pieces together and creating half square triangles. So they kind of look like this, is a big pile of these things. And there's a lot of half square triangles that you have to make here. And you see, I have them all labeled what the combinations are in the whole bit. And if you want to know how I know this, this is what the instructions say to do. Get the glare off. And I check them off as I get each one done. So right now I'm working on eight each of the following, five plus six. The five plus six means the fabric number. And I have all my fabrics numbered so I know which colors are going to go where. And uh, so that's what this pile is. And I have to cut these in half and then press them properly, trim off the dog ears, and then move on to the next set. Okay, so I've got all my half squares made and now I've laid everything out on these tables. Now I don't have tables big enough, so I have uneven surfaces all through this. But this gives you a sense of what the quilt center will sort of look like once it's sewn together. Then there is uh, some border treatments that I have to put on it as well. This is a queen size quilt and it's very, very large. Um, of course, you might find this looks a little off here and there, but that's only because nothing's been sewn together yet. So the seam allowances I haven't taken into consideration when I'm laying it out in the pieces on the table. I've taken a picture of this layout as well as a guide when I start to sew this all together. And I'm going to leave it sitting up on these tables for now, for a few days until I get it all sewn together. Okay, so I've got everything pieced together and it's difficult where I have this right now because this is a really large quilt to get it all into the shot. But it's all pieced, all sewn together, and I'm really quite proud of the fact that all my points are pretty much accurate. There's a couple of places where they're a little bit off, but you really won't notice them. Uh, once this gets the binding on it, gets the backing on it, gets all quilted, and uh, I have still have borders to put on this. So this is not the finished size yet. There are three borders that I have to put on it all the way around. Um, Color-wise, it looks a little better under this light than it did when I had it in the rec room, laid out on the table in pieces. So I may not actually redo this in different colors, I don't know. But one thing I have learned quite a bit about the need to accurately cut and the need to match up your seams when you're sewing it from row to row. Um, this took me 
pretty much all day yesterday to get it all together. I did have one little error near the top where I had missed uh, part of the seam when I was sewing it, but I ripped that section out and I re-sewed it and it's fine. So yeah, it's coming along quite nice. So the next stage is to cut the uh, bind or the borders and get those on. Okay, at this point I've put the first border uh, around the perimeter of the quilt. That's that blue strip that you can see. I ran into one little problem and I had to rip out the whole uh, border from one side because I did my famous miss uh, a layer of fabric. I'd got the whole border sewn on and then realized there was a part where I had somehow missed uh, sewing the two pieces of fabric together so I just ripped the whole thing out. That's where the electric uh, seam ripper came in really handy. These strips you here, see here hanging up and I've labeled them are the next border. These are a little bit wider and they will go around on the blue and then there'll be an outside border after that which is wider again and once I get all of those put together the quilt will be done. Okay so the quilt top is now done and you can see this is really big. In fact it's so big I'm not sure how I'm going to quilt it yet but we'll figure that out later. But I did have one problem. You see these corners? I ran out of fabric. I cut it according to the directions but for some reason I was about three inches short. So I thought well I had more of that other material I used up here in the center and I made squares and I placed the squares into the border which actually I think adds something to it. So that's a deviation from the pattern. Now I have to get batting and backing, do the quilting and add the binding. Okay so now I'm starting the layering of this quilt and you can see I've got it spread out here on the floor and right now on top of it is the batting and I got a lot of batting and I don't have a table big enough for this so I have to do it on the floor and I actually have a carpet underneath this and I was able to clip the quilt um, right side down onto the edges of this carpet to hold it in place at least at the top and on this one side. And now I've smoothed out the batting and I'm going to do spray basting. So I'm going to very carefully, I'm going to cut off this excess over at this side. Then I'm going to roll the batting up halfway, spray it, put it back down, try to get it as smooth as possible, and then do the other half of it. And then I'm going to lay the background uh, fabric on top of this and do the same thing. So the quilt now is all layered and this is the top and you've seen that before. And this is what's on the back. And that's what I'm going to make the binding out of as well. Um, but what I have to do next is I've taken a picture of this so I can diagram out how I'm going to quilt this because this is going to be a big job and I want to get it right. And I'm going to take the leftover pieces from this backing and I'm going to cut them down to two and a half inch strips and form my binding for this. So that's going to take some time as well. Okay, so now I'm working on the final stages of this giant quilt and I am machine quilting it as you can see here and you can see there's a lot of quilt happening. So I've had to put a, an extended table, folding table off to the end of my sewing machine to support the bulk of this quilt. And I have been practicing ruler foot quilting, very simple ruler foot quilting. I'm just using the straight ruler on this and I'm basically doing sort of a, a stitch in the ditch. Um, I'm not aiming to get right into the, the ditch of each of the blocks. I'm just moving off slightly to one side because I do want the quilting to show up. This is gonna take a long time to do this and it's a real pain trying to get it around the throat of the machine as you can imagine. But I will persevere and come back when I get this part of it done. Okay, so I've still got some more of this to quilt, but to give you an idea of what it's looking like so far, I did ruler foot quilting just straight line 
around each of the, the star and the squares and things like that. Then I went across the whole center panel using a walking foot uh, quilting method, which is just a simple wavy line, which I think has turned out pretty good. Now, above this white section is what I have to quilt next. And uh, right now I'm thinking I may just stick to using the wavy line in that section because there's kind of a natural break here where the blue border uh, goes around. And then above that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So I have to think about this. But so far, I'm loving it. So I had a little problem with the quilt. I got it all quilted and now I'm adding my binding and I got the binding sewn on and I was about to flip it over and sew it to the right hand side and I got down for ways and then see this see this purple blotch well this is an idiot move I did not catch my batting for some reason the backing separated when I was stitching on the binding and I had this big white spot and I tried various things to try and fix it and none of them were working and out of frustration which is an idiot move I decided to use a sharpie on it so no one would notice but that's not going to happen so I've decided I am going to stop here and I'm going to tear rip out all of the binding and start over again and make sure it catches all the way around and that spot will then be covered up what an idiot i am okay so here it is finally finished i corrected the problem i had with the binding and it looks pretty good it isn't perfect the quarters are not perfectly mitered the way they should be but it's done and done is better than perfect. So this was a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of frustration, um, but it's done and I think it came out pretty good. Is it a show quilt? No, not even close. But for a utility quilt that's going to go on my bed, it will work fine. Now I'm debating, should I put it through the wash or not? Hmm, we'll wait and see.